What's up y'all? Billy coming at y'all again. We're gonna give y'all an inside glimpse of what it's like to work the gun show today. So let's get in here and get behind the booth and see what happens. Wave when you're on camera. <laughs> We love goofing off. Here we are packing up the inventory for transport. Be sure to have enough boxes or cases for your pistols and long guns, and in a pinch you can roll several long guns into a moving blanket. Get your up-to-date FFL book, your blank 4473 background forms, and youth firearm safety pamphlets ready. You must have this paperwork readily available and it must be accurate. Stay organized and precise. Also be sure to have enough reserve table space to display the amount of inventory you intend to try and sell and where your power will be coming from so you will be able to run background checks on site. A printer slash copier to copy forms of identification, a cash box to lock and store your change, a laptop to run background checks, and a point of sale system such as Square for credit transactions are all some things you should definitely consider bringing along. All firearms to be displayed must have their action secured in a fashion that is easily visible. Notice all the firearms displayed here have brightly colored zip ties running through the action and barrel, assuring at a glance they are not loaded. If you wish, you can even invest in display cases such as these here. Many people, including criminals, attend the gun show. Staff enough personnel so eyes can always cover your merchandise, and even designate someone to do just that. Criminals will target understaffed booths, and while one or two distracts personnel, another may steal. At this particular event, a vendor with eight tables and only three employees unfortunately had a firearm stolen from them. Yes, criminals go to the gun show too. Consider constructing a rifle rack or building something maybe collapsible to display your long guns. Uh, decorative tablecloths are also a good idea and some kind of blankets. We use these moving blankets under this table to cover our merchandise at the end of the day. Also, require payment prior to running any background checks. Explain to the customer as they're filling out their background information that running that information is a commitment to buy and they agree that they are a legal purchaser. If they are for some reason denied, then reassure them that they will be given a refund. This eliminates any confusion and keeps a customer from becoming irate or dissatisfied if their background check comes back delayed. Also explain to them that if the ATF does not contact you with a response within three days, they can retrieve their purchase firearm. That's really all the tips I have for you. If you think of something, comment it below. Um, over the next couple minutes, you'll hear a conversation of how me and a gentleman much wiser than me uh, go over the myth that is the gun show loophole, and we dispel that, and uh, we just we just talk about how basically it's, it's non-existent. So uh, stick around for that. I appreciate y'all watching. Please consider subscribing. Uh, thanks again. All right, Bob. <laughs> so tell me about this gun show loophole that you hear about. There's no such thing as a gun show loophole. All right, well, what, what's the premise? What is it supposed to be? Uh, the premise is that Democrat liberals have a, an agenda against the Second Amendment, and it basically states that that people can, citizens can go into an actual gun show and illegally purchase a firearm from a dealer uh, under the table deal and walk out. So with, like a private sale with no background like check? Private sale from an actual uh, ATF licensed federal firearms dealer. Right, so basically a straw purchase. Which... No, no, straw purchase is when you purchase a firearm for uh, a party other than the one that's purchasing. Okay, so like third party sale. All right. Just illegal sale. Okay. Illegal, because if you're bona fide licensed uh, federal firearms dealer. Right, FFL holder. F FFL holder. It is against the law in entirety. Every firearm that you bring into your shop has to be logged into your book and has to be logged out. And it has to go through a next check. You have to fill out a 4473 federal form. Um, it has to be either called in or over the internet to Nick's for approval. Okay. And once all the information is filled out properly and in its entirety on the form, you will run it through the system, through Nick's system. They will then come back with a proceed, deny, or delay. Right. Uh, a delay after three days, if the ATF does not contact you back with further information, 
the customer can then come pick up the phone. Okay. After three day wait. So what you're saying is if anybody, any of these dealers sold a firearm without a background check for the gun show loophole, private sale out the back door, they would be committing a, uh, an offense, a criminal offense. A felony. A felony. Yes. So they would lose their licensing, they'd lose the ability to sell firearms. Their freedom. Their freedom. So there is no gun show loophole. There's no such thing. It's just a, it's just a made up, it's just a made up thing. Criminal, right. Criminals are everywhere. Criminals are gonna do dirt no matter what profession they're in. Car, car dealers, it doesn't matter. There's right. People that are dirty and people are gonna do dirty things. But the and, you know, you're held to a standard for being a federal firearms licensed dealer. Have they had them in the past doing this? Yes, they have. But the problem is, it's it's just like an auto mechanic. The few bad ones make the rest of us look right. Look back. But no FFL in their right mind would risk thousands of dollars in licensing and their freedom and everything else to to sell one illegal gun to Joe Schmo off the street. I would hope not. All right. Th thanks for your time, Bob. No problem. And now a quick word for our sponsor, Peter Keola, owner and operator of Pelican State Armory and Supplies out of Manaville, Louisiana. Peter is a competitive shooter competing in 30 plus matches of various disciplines such as IDPA, USPSA, and GSSF with multiple first place wins. As well as being a collector and self-taught firearm repairman, he's a dealer in products such as Cobra Tech knives, crossbreed holsters, strike industries, primary arms, EGW, and shooter connection. If you need a repair, upgrade, or would like a custom build, he's your guy. He can even handle laser engraving on many different products or stippling jobs on qualifying polymers. Just check out the Florida Lees on this frame. Pelican State Armoring Supplies is ready to handle whatever you need, and don't forget to tell him Billy the Kid sent you. Thanks.